today I have the pleasure of speaking with Joel Friedman from True Precious Metals. How are you today? I'm doing well, Tracy. Okay, you're sandwiched between two major players in the gold industry. Do I have this correct? That's right. We're right between Marathon uh, Gold on the one side and Matador Mining on the other, both with significant gold deposits. And our gold and rose project's right in the middle of them. And of course, so this is why this news yesterday was such a big deal. Talk to me about this. Just walk me right down the road. You, you started, you commenced 5,000 meter drill program to, to many of us. This is a big deal. You know, to, to, you kind of hit it right on the head of like walk you down the road. I think we're on the best street in central Newfoundland. On the one side, we've got Marathon Gold. They've got over 4 million ounces of Valentine Lake. And they're on this, it's called the Cape Ray Valentine Lake Shear Zone. So it's like a diagonal line. So Marathon's right up here. They've got 4 million ounces scattered across a, a series of deposits across their property. The next project over is our Golden Rose project. We've got 45 kilometers of strike length, meaning we've got a lot of coverage on the same, on the same road, on the same structural feature that goes through Valentine Lake. So there's a lot of exploration, you know, high potential exploration across our property. And then on the other side below us, company called Matador Mining, they're Australian listed. They have an 840,000 ounce gold resource. Again, a series of you know smaller, mid-sized, large deposits across their property and still a lot of exploration left there. So the theory is basically there's a, a string of pearls of deposits up and down this structural corridor, the Cape Ray Valentine Lake Shear Zone, cuts right through our Golden Rose project, optimal place to explore. Okay, and so I'm assuming, I just, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, We've got all these analysts following these big players. It should not be. Should they not all have their eyes on you with this drill program and these associated results for the Golden Rose Project? We we have previously reached out to some analysts because we're early and haven't even done our inaugural drill program on Golden Rose. Uh, it's a bit early to get analyst coverage, but that being said, you know we do know there's analysts watching the stock. We have institutions in our shareholder base. Uh, including Eric Sprott, a number of flow-through funds, Palisades Gold Corp. Altius is our second largest shareholder. It's TSX-listed mineral exploration and royalty company. So there are a lot of eyes on the stock. Uh, we did a couple of financings back in March and then in June. Uh, one was more retail and, uh, and high net worth. The second one was all institutional. Uh, we think analyst, you know, analyst coverage would be great for down the road. For now, we just want to execute our exploration program, and we think that the results from this should certainly drive uh, better coverage, you know, ideally from analysts, but also the broader market community once they really, once we, once we prove up a bit of what we've got at the property. Well, perhaps my point was just that you've got some, you've got the big players already having their eyes on you now for the rest of the world to hear about Golden Rose. So could you just give us a quick overview? I'm an investor. I'm looking at these gold exploration companies and I, I may not be a geologist. Can you tell me, uh, maybe three competitive advantages or why you should pick the Golden Rose Project for true precious metals over maybe one of the other competitors out there? Sure. I'm point number one, although it's not the, in no particular order. I'm a securities and mergers lawyer, not a geologist. So we have some cost discipline here. We're not just looking to go blindly drill and blow through our treasury, which leads me to point number two, we're well capitalized. We still, we had uh, six, over 6 million bucks in the treasury at mid-year. You know, we're deploying that wisely over the course of the drill program. We'll have significant money left at year end to do follow on exploration. Point number three, but again, in no particular order, the Golden Rose project between these two significant players with significant gold deposits, you couldn't ask for a better location for a junior mineral exploration play. And that's a competitive advantage that no one can replicate is our land position and specifically this asset. And of course, those of you maybe newer to the gold industry, we are in Newfoundland, Canada, correct? That's correct. Central Newfoundland Gold Belt. And perhaps point number four, we have one of the most articulate exploration CEOs in the marketplace. And on that note, what should we anticipate as shareholders in, say, the next uh, quarter or two? I mean, when do these drill results start coming in, Joel? Uh, it's a good question. In terms of news flow, I mean, so drilling has started. Uh, I think we've actually got a whole completed by now. Uh, we, we'll look to roll our results when we get enough to that, that it makes sense, we can start putting together the data and a good story. Uh, probably would be 
maybe some results before year end, but the bulk will really come out over the course of Q1 2022. Because again, we need to compile data from a 5,000 meter program. We want to be able to present the results accurately. In the meantime, though, you know, if we see anything very interesting, we're likely to put that out as news. So there, there's that in terms of intermittent news flow. Plus, we're still finishing up some service level exploration at the project. And when we've collected enough of that data back from the lab, we already have stuff trickling in. That would also be you know, a good time to update the market. So we think there'll be bits and pieces over the rest of this year. And the bulk of the drill results really go public over the course of Q1. And of course, thank you so much, Joel Friedman from True Precious Metals on your Golden Rose Project Drilling Program. Thank you. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks, everybody.